Hello, my name is Chad Castle from Acoustic Sounds, Analog Productions, and Quality Record Pressings. And today we're going to talk about the Contemporary Acoustic Sound Series. And this is what's coming out in 2024. You know, this label was started by Lester Koenig, and he used engineers Roy Dunan and Howard Holzer. And they made some fantastic rec recordings, very historic jazz, just great records, just a well-known jazz label that people love, and a lot of the records um, go for, are very collectible. Anyway, so this is 2024 releases, and all of them were done by Roy Dunan and Howard Holzer, except The Fox, Harold Land, The Fox. But I'm going to go through them, and uh, we're going to go one by one. So in February, February 23rd, Art Pepper Smack Up. This is a great, great record. All, almost all the Art Peppers on Contemporary are fantastic. And this is probably one of the best ones. So this is Art Pepper Smack Up. Um, this was done in 1960 by Roy Dunan and uh, highly recommended. So this is coming out February 23rd. Now a lot of people have been asking about the Shelly Man at the Black Hawk. So of course we're gonna start out, we're gonna do more than just this one, I promise you, before we start getting all the emails. I mean, they're all good. We'll start out with the first one, the Shelly Man and his men at the Black Hawk. This was done in 59, and uh, it's got summertime, and it's just a, it's just a great record with Victor Feldman on it. Uh, Highly recommended. People have been begging for it. This one's coming out March 1st. Harold Land, The Fox. Okay, now this was done by another label. Uh, it was recorded at Radio Recorders. And uh, I think the label was called Hi-Fi Jazz. Not quite sure the story, but I think uh, Lester Koenig must have bought the recording off of Hi-Fi Jazz because it's it's considered a contemporary record now and uh, this one will be coming out on April 12th. Again, these are all being mastered by Bernie Grunman who got his first job when he reached Los Angeles working for Contemporary and cut a lot of these over the years and so uh, he was a natural choice for the mastering engineer. And since it's Acoustic Sounds Contemporary Series, we're pressing them at quality record pressings. So, you know, uh, what they've hired me is to help pick the titles, oversee them, listen to them, compare. We want to make sure these sound better than the originals ever did. We want them to be the best versions that have ever come out. And we're working real hard. And we're very, very happy with the results we've been getting. So... Again, Bernie Grunman mastering off the original master analog tapes. We're choosing the best titles, and Quality Records is pressing it, and Stoughton is making the album jacket. So you really can't get better. I mean, from the, they're, prob, they're really doing it with the analog productions recipe, you know, original master tape, high quality from the beginning to the end. All right, the next one after that is Hampton Hawes, For Real. That's May 17th. This was done and recorded in 1958. Another great record. Then after that is Maggie's Back in Town by Howard McGee. This is June 14th. This was a 1961 recording by Roy, Roy Dunant. It's got Shelley Mann, Leroy Vinegar, and Phineas Newborn Jr., Another great record. Now I'm holding up all the originals. I have all the originals and I will use these to send to Bernie or and to compare because these haven't been made yet. The next one after Maggie's Back in Town is Howard McGee and Teddy Edwards together again, July 12th. This is another great album. It's got Ray Brown on bass, Ed Thigpen on drums, Phineas Newborn Jr. on piano, and Teddy Edwards on tenor sax, and Howard McGee on trumpet. Another great record that's coming out July 12th. 
Here's a great record, Prince Lasha Quintet, The Cry. This is coming out August 16th. This is a little out there, a little avant-garde. Great sounding and great music. Um, I tend to, to, to stick with the standards and the, the very uh, accessible jazz, but this record's so good and I like it myself, uh, The Cry, Prince Lasha Quintet featuring Sonny Simmons. It's got uh, Gary Peacock and Mark Proctor on bass, Sonny Sim Simmons on alto sax, and Prince Lasha on flute. This was recorded in 1962, the year I was born. Great record, very rare, a little bit out there, but really good. And that is coming out August 16th. Ben Webster at the Renaissance. This is September 13th. One of my favorite all-time records. I mean, it's Ben Webster. Very soulful, very bluesy. Um, I mean, he does songs like Stardust, Georgia On My Mind, Caravan, What Is This Thing Called Love. It's got Jimmy Rolls on the piano, Jim Hall on the guitar, Red Mitchell on bass, and Frank Butler on drums. This was recorded in October 1960. And uh, great record, highly recommended. I know it's going to sell well. Very, very, very famous record. Sounds like you're in the club with them. That was September 13th. So Art Pepper getting together and Art Pepper Intensity will be coming out October 11th. So uh, the getting together has Jimmy Cobb on drums, Paul Chambers on bass, Wynton Kelly on piano, Art Pepper on sax, and Intensity is... Both of these, Intensity was done in 1960, and so it was Getting Together. Two highly recommended albums, and that's October 11th. Helen Humes is a great singer. This was recorded in uh, 1961. It's got Ben Webster on the sax, Barney Kessel on guitar, Leroy Vinegar on bass, Andre Previn on piano. Yeah, this is highly recommended album. Very good. Helen Humes, Songs I Like to Sing, November 8th. And then to end the year is the Sonny Rollins Way Out West, December 6th. Most people all know about this record. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's one of the first jazz albums I reissued on Analog Productions in 1992. So I um, can't recommend this one highly enough, but I don't think I need to talk too much about it because I think most people know about it. Anyway, we're really uh, happy to be working with Contemporary and Concord on this series. We've been working with Fantasy and, and Contemporary since 1992, and uh, you know our relationship is just getting stronger. We're just pressing a lot of their records. We sell a lot of their records. They're making records better every day. They keep um, improving on, on the methods of, of reissuing records, and we really appreciate that because we know that's what you guys want. It's what I want. It's what you guys want. So we're real happy with this contemporary acoustic sound series, and it, I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. And there you have it for 2024. Thanks for supporting the series. As long as you support the series, we'll keep doing more of the contemporary records. And I mean, I was just thinking of titles that we need to do while while we were flipping through. There's, you know, there's Benny, there's uh, Barney Cassell on the label. There's there's just so many great great artists that uh, we're gonna get to. So again, thanks for the support and uh, happy New Year's. Please like and subscribe for more audiophile content.